come to the clinic. Thank you. This is the video on um, finding circumference of a circle. The circumference is the distance around the outside of a circle. And the interesting thing is, is that no matter what size circle, you can take the diameter, which is the distance across the circle, multiply it by a little over three, and get the distance around the circle. This is like the distance around a table. Um, you know, if you were going to put a um, skirt around a table, let's call it a table skirt, this would be the distance that you would need to go. You could measure this and do times three, a little over times three, and get the distance around. So um, the exact number of the times around is represented by the Greek letter pi. That's what this is called. It's called pi. And the exact value of pi is 3.1415926, and it keeps going and going and going. For the purposes of what we do, we round it and we say that pi is 3.14, and that's why, um, why March 14th is called Pi Day. And we, um, or we can use a fraction of 22 over 7 to represent pi. And then whenever we're estimating, we just use 3. We just say roughly 3 for pi. So sometimes it'll ask you to give the answer in terms of pi. Sometimes it'll say estimate and you use 3. And sometimes they want you to do the actual calculations and use 3.14, but that's still uh, not exactly. So the circumference, there's two formulas. Depending on if you are given the diameter, you would use circumference equals pi d, pi times diameter. Or if you're given the radius, you're going to use circumference equals pi r, pi, uh, 2 pi r, 2 times pi times radius. So let me show you what this looks like. So if you were to use 3.14 and it says find the circumference of this, so we would say c equals pi d, because we have a diameter, c equals 3.14 times 9. C equals, and I have to go over here, and I want, and I have to put 3.14 on top because it has more digits, even though it's a smaller number, and do times 9, and I, 36, and 9 plus 3 is 12, and 27, 28, and two places over for the decimal point, two places over, so C equals 28 and 26 hundredths centimeters and it's not squared because we're just doing a dimension um, a, a unit times a, a, a number so it's just centimeters and that's the distance around and if you were estimating you go 9 times 3 is 27 28 and 26 hundredths is really close to 27 so um, now I'm going to use um, find the circumference using 22 over 7 for pi so C equals, and I've got the radius, so I've got to go 2 times um, pi, 3.1, oh, write the formula first, 2 pi r, so C equals 2 times 3.14 times the radius of 21, and it said use 22 over 7, so I need to change that. 22 over 7. Now, the interesting thing here is I can cross cancel. So 7 goes into 7 one time and 7 goes into 21 three times. So now I have C equals 2 times 22 times 3. And so that's going to be 44 times 3. 44 times 3. 12, 13. So C equals 132 inches. You know, and if you estimate, you would say 42 times 3 would be about 132. So um, go ahead and stop the video. The thing that you need to know about this is that you need to use this, this formula because you've got the radius. And for this one, you need to use this formula for the diameter. 
For this, you're using 3.14. For this, you're using 22 over 7. Um, I'm going to erase this and so where it's not so messy, and you can just look at these two problems, work those two problems, and then come back and check your work. Two pi r two times three point one four times six radius that equals and I did the math over here um, two times six is twelve and then twelve times three point one four is thirty seven point sixty eight inches and down here this was actually the same as this one um, this is given in diameter this is given in radius um, I did all the math and came up with one hundred and thirty two centimeters. Then you're going to see these in word problems. So the radius of a half dollar is about three centimeters. What is the circumference? Use 3.14 for pi. So if you've got this half dollar and the radius is three centimeters, then to find circumference, you're going to use um, two pi r because you've got the radius. So fill this in and come up with your answer. And then this one, it says the circumference of a can of green beans is 9 inches. What is its diameter? Use 3 for pot. So this one, you, need, you, you, you know the circumference, and you're trying to find out the diameter. So you just plug everything into the formula. So it says the circumference is 9. So 9, and use 3 for pi, and then what's the diameter? So it's real easy to see that the diameter has to be 3. So the diameter equals 3 and it's inches. So go ahead and do this one and you can come back and check your work. So in this one, we discussed which formula to use because we know the radius. So plug it in. 2 times 3.14 times 3. And so 3 times 2 is 6. 3.14 times 6 is 18.84, so that goes there, and, and the unit is centimeters. A word problem, and you have to use um, 3.14 for pi, and um, something that gives you the circumference, and you need to find out the radius. So draw a picture, that should be able to help you out.